Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for staying with me. Uh, even though I had not uploaded a lot of um, videos recently uh, because I've been busy with the, my vanilla job. But here I'm back, um, hoping to give you another very useful video. And this is all about, um, I, I was able to uh, get a website from some of our online friends where you can convert some of the NFT that you had you hasn't been using or you don't have plans to use or maybe you had received some tokens that has no more value or maybe you have accounts that um are not needed in anymore you can all burn them and convert them into a solana token so it's a really good site because as for me i have so many uh unwanted tokens unwanted nfts and by the way, it's all under Solana Chain. So again, I repeat, this is all under Solana Chain. So without further ado, let me uh, share my screen so I can tell you which site am I talking about. So I'm talking about the Sol um, Incinerator uh, site. I'll be putting the uh, link on the description of this video. And speaking of description, please uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Um, also, uh, please also join my other social media accounts such as Discord, Twitter, and Facebook because I'm posting all my um, invitation links in some of the airdrops and projects that I'm currently uh, using like telegrams and uh, other airdrops. So yeah, um, in here, there are some frequently asked questions that um, it's worth reading. Like, for example, where is the reclaimed soul coming from? Uh, it's from any accounts on Solana that requires a small storage fee to open them. By burning a token, we can close this account and reclaim the storage fee. As you can see here, you need to connect your wallet before uh, you can burn. So as you can see, I have here my uh, phantom wallet and you just need to uh, enter your password if uh, you've been logged out for some time. And you can connect as many wallets as you can. So just for the sake of testing, I'll show you what are the other tokens that are in my account that I can burn. Uh, in here, how much can I reclaim from burning? So most NFT will give you 0.01 SOL when you burn. And most tokens will give you 0.002 SOL. And certain NFTs such as scam tokens will also return 0.002. So that's good enough. Um, it's not big, but at least you can make use of all those Solana in gas fees and other transactions that you will be doing in Solana chain. So I think it's not bad, especially if you have so many that will all add up. Uh, in here, why do some NFTs only give 0 0.002? Well, for them, uh, they will be able to reclaim 0 0.01 sold from an NFT. So you have to burn the NFT metadata account. And some NFTs, such as scam tokens, this metadata for several different tokens. Therefore, the account cannot be burned and only 0 0.002 can be reclaimed. In here, why can't I reclaim any soul from a compressed NFT? I'll show you later what are the compressed NFT that I have. Uh, and they said to make a compressed NFT cheaper to mint, the metadata and token accounts are not stored on chain like normal. Instead, they are indexed on of change. While this makes them cheaper to mint, it also means there are no accounts to close on chain and reclaim the soul from. So it makes sense. Like you don't pay gas fee to generate them. So obviously you cannot also claim from that. I got 0 0.004 soul from burning an NFT. Why? This occurs when burning an NFT that is protected by Magic Eden's OCP or Open Creator Protocol. The reason it gives 0 0.004 instead of 0 0.01 is that due to its structure, the burn can only close the token account and the mint state account. And burning a regular NFT will close more, account, more accounts than that, returning more rent that equates to entire 001. 
Now, this is a very good question. Do you charge any fee? Or I mean, do you need to prepare money for you to... Uh, do you need to have a token for, for you to use this site? The answer is... They take zero point... How many zero is this? One, two, three, four, five. Zero point... Uh, sorry, four. Zero point... 0, 0, 0, 0.0004 on each token burn and then 0 0.0051 on each NFT burn, 0 0.0032 on each OCP burn and 0 0.019 on each PNFT burn and 0 0.335 on each Serum account burn. Close. Therefore, there are no fees for burning compressed NFTs. This goes towards funding A dedicated RPC node to ensure your NFTs load quickly. It also goes towards further development of the incinerator. One future item we intend to release is an API so that other projects may use incinerator data for their own purposes. Note this fee is taken from this reclaimed soul. You will never lose soul by burning. You can only gain it. Now, um, maybe the last thing I want to read from here. You can read the other guys. I don't want to consume so much of your time. Just read. Make sure to read the other um, FAQ first before you started it. Uh, all I want to say is this is irreversible, meaning to say once you burn the token or NFT, you cannot claim it back anymore. So make sure that you're willing to really let go of all those tokens or NFTs that you will burn on this site. Okay, I hope that's loud and clear. Now it's time to show you how to do it first again log in into your um phantom wallet or any wallet um, i'll show you the other wallets available that you can use so just connect the wallet as you can see here you can you if you have a um phantom wallet magic eden wallet and metamask wallet uh which obviously uses solana you can um or solfair then you can also connect them so i'll use phantom for this site as you can see, there are 67 items in my wallet. Oh, actually, 631. That's a lot. Because I'm using, I don't know if uh, I had so many um, CNFTs, which has no value. All right. So that's it. As you can see here, I have a Gino Pets uh, Dormant Habitat. If I click for burning on the right side of the screen, you can see the value. If I will burn this, it will give me a... 0 0.01 Solana. Now, before you burn your um, NFT, you can go to the Magic Eden and you can search the current um, price of habitats. The lowest that you can sell for a dormant habitat is 0 0.018. We can list we can list at zero point zero two two, but we don't know if there's demand or someone will buy your NFT. So for an instant sell, you can have it at zero point zero one eight, which is higher than this burning amount. So for this case, you might opt to list it here instantly. All right, but for the case of say Terraform Seed Grade Two. So let's search again. Gino pets seed, I think, or Terra uh, Terraform seeds. Let's see the grade two, how much in Magic Eden. It's 0 0.006. So in here, it's 0 0.002. So as you can see, uh, in here, there's more value, but I don't know how much um fee that you need to do maybe they might be equally similar all right so i'm leaving it up to you if you will sell it here but again don't forget uh is there a demand for this nft so how about let's go to the um uh, reagents antenna reagents so search gino pets reagents So for uh, antenna, 0 0.001 in here, 
0.002. As you can see, at this point, it's higher here. So I might want to burn instead of selling it in Magic Eden. So let's burn one. So you can see uh, the actual process. Confirm burn. Don't forget, this is irreversible. It cannot, cannot be reversed. Confirm. Approve it in your Phantom Wallet. So it's, as you can see here, it will add up a 0 0.002. Confirm. Just don't touch your computer while you're doing this. Anything that you do transactions online, once it's processing, avoid touching it up. Once you see these details here, it means that the Solana is already credited to you. If you want to double check, you can screenshot your balance before you do it. So you know that it had add up. So that's the details. So it's very straightforward. These are the CNFTs that uh, we're talking about. So as you can see, there's no value. They are because they are compressed NFT. I have a lot, so I cannot burn them. I'll just keep them for now. Tokens. I don't know why this ear reagent went under tokens, but in here we have GMT. If I burn, I have three. And then the value is 0 0.002. Make sure to check. Um, let me have a look. How many GMT do I have? Sorry, Phantom. Okay, so as you can see, the value is 0 0.01 if you sell it in the market. And the value is 0 0.002. You can uh, search, uh, you can use a calculator and go to um, check the value of Solana if this will give you more than the actual cost, which you can see in the um, in the wallet that it's cost 0 0.01 dollars. So I might just burn it. So there's another one here. So that's basically how you check, guys, the value of the tokens that you will burn. Uh, you can use the coin market cap if you just want to quickly check and calculate the value of your uh, token. So cryptocurrencies, you can easily um, search, say GMT. All coins are in here. So you can, you know, the value. All right. So yeah, I hope it's loud and clear. Now, once you're done, you can disconnect your wallet. I always suggest disconnecting your wallet. And at the same time, you can switch wallets and do the same process. So for me, I'm using a, uh, I'm using a uh, Phantom. So I can connect my new wallet. Phantom, and again, it will do the same process. And I can repeat the process as well. So I guess it's worth checking your Phantom, uh, Metamask, um, Solfare, and um, Magic Eden accounts to check which wallets you have, like this one. I, I didn't realize it's a good value at 0 0.01. I forgot how I... Uh, created this NFT. All I remember, I think, is I used a um, AI uh, to generate this NFT, and now it's worth 0 0.01 Solana. So if we can see here how much is Solana at the moment. And so the reason why I'm telling you this is I just need to figure out which, because I have used different AI, AI in the past uh, to generate NFT. And I remember, I think there's a competition in Step N in the past where do you generate a, uh, a, a, a uh, NFT and submit. And I think that's where, how I get those two. So as you can see, Solana at the moment, it's say $180. So if I mint one of them, uh, where is that? Where did I see it? It's 0 0.01.
0 0.01 times 180, that will give me $1.8, not bad, right? And that will, um, that is also useful when I'm doing some Solana transactions. So my plan is I might do some um, AI generated NFT as well, because as you can see, I find value in this. This is pretty much value, 0 0.01. I just uh, can't remember if there's a gas fee for that. So you always need to consider as well the amount of minting NFT versus the amount of what you get here. And also, if you have dormant accounts, you can also close it. I think I have one dormant account here that I had used in the past. And you can also burn this wallet. Uh, or if you have domains as well, if you just want to clean up, so all of that. Okay, and they have here a Discord and Twitter page if you want to know more. All right, so that's it for now, guys. I hope um, you find value in this uh, video that I create. If you do, again, please hit that like button. I want to know how you go. Please comment below if you, if you have tried this or uh, if you know this um, site, because for me, um, it's first time I've, I've heard of it and I find it useful because I have so many tokens and NFT that I want to burn. And at least I get a bit of um, Solana that I can use as gas fees in other Solana transactions that I'll be doing. That's it, guys. Thanks for your time. Until next time.